No, I cannot take you there. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today, about when the guns were confiscated in Villador, and what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the Monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson is about today. I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye.
happened here? That is where the riot started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves and their families? There was massive unrest. So, a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Ah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter.
Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. <laughs>
killed, they barely notice. But when the <laughs> commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. <clears throat>
Anybody else sees this the fuck shit? Is that? What's that? We got a light on over here. There's something there. 
Well, ain't that a pretty lie? What the hell is this? <coughs> <That's coughs> Look out! For you, you piece of shit! <coughs> Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop, Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not, you're working with him, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really wanna know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Who, me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. You tricked your brother to send innocent men to their deaths because you wanted to find me? Waltz can run it all down for you himself. Or rather, for what you've got from Dylan. Wait, Waltz? Where is he? Dunno. They haven't filled me in on all the details yet. Aiden? You there? Have you found Cliff? Yes. But you won't like it. Damien, bro. Unfortunately, now's not a good time to chat. And as for you, you finally found Dr. Waltz. Downside? He's found you. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Cliff? Fuck! What? What do you say? The doc's gonna be thrilled! I got nothing for you! <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
Damien, are you still there? Come in, Damien. Can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No, dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. They barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. <clears throat> What's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. What's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot.
got a gig as a finisher tomorrow. Someone's got to take care of the fighters roaming the streets around the bazaar at dawn. Find something you like in the bazaar?
Damien, stop or I jump! Wait, okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? How about Cliff? About your brother? What about him? For one, I... I should apologize. For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh, look, it's only fair that you know. Know what? That it's my fault. I killed him, not you. Oh, so you want me to jump? Is that it? Rub salt in my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Aiden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. On me. On those poor victims. On my brother. And even you. And maybe I should just live with that. But I don't want to. At least not for very long. Only for about, say, 15 floors. I can handle that. Goodbye, Hayden. No!
back so quickly. This is you like what you see, eh? You want more of the finest? What the hell? Sophie, you wanted to see me? I've been hearing about you. Good or bad things? Useful things. The ones that make me believe it's worth giving you a chance. What are you proposing? Go to one of the Craftmasters, Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need a few for a certain transaction. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They're in the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals? Oh, for fox! They've already sent one of their... F f f f fuckwits? Who? That fellow! <laughs> Sophie's brother! Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... a uh, hundred and twenty... a uh, hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro. There's a big sign, fashion store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. find I know the location but I was told your brother asked about it already Herman see if Barney turned on his radio Barney answer me Barney So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. 
I'm throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in a dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. Go. At once. You have to find him before dawn. I'll do my best. He's wounded, after all. Pilgrim in the bazaar? <laughs> if I were him, I'd clear out the floor and piss his people off.
Sophie? I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Hurry. Sophie, Taden, I found a radio, and a body, male, white, bald man, I'm sorry, Sophie. That's not Barney, that's Kojak, one of ours, Barney can't be far. Sophie, I found blood. It's fresh. Hurry. supposed to do. Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't. <laughs> Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. I'll try. Barney! Come back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck shit! Great.
Barney. Okay, that's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! should lead me to him. Ran to the truck. Maybe he made it. Hey, you find Bertie? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. I wasn't going down without a fight. Sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but. <coughs> Listen. It's my birthday today. Uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, uh, over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan. What's going on? Nathan? Nathan! Barney. You there? 
Arnie. Aiden, are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. But he sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? Well, you got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fuckwood Lucas deserved to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? For what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort. Aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid.
Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. You know what they say, Miller? Barney may be impulsive, but he truly cares about the bazaar.
up. Susie? You there? Sophie! We're under attack! What? Susie, what's going on? It's a trap! Run! Fuck! Susie? Rob? Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all! You gotta be kidding me. I don't remember that. Ain't that a bitch? How? Who? You shit me. Something's off. Gonna get ya! survivors. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. There. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. <sighs> Fuck. What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took him before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. I've made by Jack and Joe's camp off the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. <laughs> How's it going? You alive, man? <laughs> Fuck. I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ador will let us into the center. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie. Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Okay. I guess that means I should wait here. Oh, no. 
No! 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 Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse, too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water, and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. He's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. He's been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, he's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho, and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. Bertie, to your help! If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Messrs. Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge, and Jack and Joe sentence them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, Tor here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Real slow. Peace. My peace.
just gonna stand there or will you come over? <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden, along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie, I can handle them. Lucas mm -hmm. thought so too, and look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere with a piece of your hide cut out. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. <laughs> 